Anyways, how you guys doing? I'm Chris Ignato, and you are watching Nature Now. So I'm in a woodlands. It's February, and it is the dead of winter. But you know what? I find that term to be quite misleading. In fact, I'm going to show you why. Come along. We all know and love the woodlands throughout the year. So much color, song, and activity. The warmer months are just filled with all signs of life. I hardly need to share with you the beautiful show that Mother Nature puts on for us at that time of year. One of the things that makes a woodland so special is that the soil is nearly always damp. That is mostly due to the fact that the canopy above provides plenty of shade. Those tree roots reach deep down into the earth and therefore they do not drain the topsoil of its moisture. Ferns and the more succulent herbs and plants do very well in these conditions. The fungi grace the floor with their amazing colors and variety. This also allows a healthy population of mosses and liverworts to take advantage of that damp environment. Those mosses and liverworts have no water transport system and so they actually rely on a thin film of moisture in order for them to be able to reproduce. They're actually a lot like the amphibians of the plant world. Many things feed on this assortment of herbs and fungi. Snails, slugs, and all sorts of beetles and insects flourish here. The fungi love the dampness and will capitalize on both that and the decaying plant and animal matter. Where there are plants, and those that feed on them, there are sure to be predators. Both big and small, the hunters are abundant. Things like foxes, hawks, and even wolf spiders are all hunters of the woodlands. Let us not focus on all that for too long though. We have plenty of time for that in the spring, summer, and fall. Instead, let us take a quick glimpse to see what goes on in the months of frost and snow. When visiting a woodlands in winter, or even late fall, many of us probably sit and think to ourselves that the land has gone into a state of suspended animation. Well, to be honest, this is only partially true. In truth, there is a lot going on. The trees have pulled their moisture into their roots and focused their energy there, deep underground. Life still stirs in the depths. If only we could get a look there, this video would be so much longer. Fungi, or rather the fruiting bodies of fungi, are still quite active and we have a better chance to view them now that their cover is gone. Many of them grow throughout the year and a good rain can bring these to our attention. Lichens are much the same. Lichens are pretty impressive because they are a symbiotic relationship between fungi and algae. Now if we search around them and maybe under the leaves nearby, we are sure to find slugs and snails. I'm actually surprised at the low temperatures in which they can handle. Flies and moths will come out on the warmer days, like today, but catching them on film is quite a challenge. The birds and mice snatch them up if they are not feeding on seeds, buds, and the leathery mushrooms. The seeds and nuts provide plenty of carbs which are great for keeping warm on those cold nights. Deer will munch on the tips of rose bushes where rose hips and tiny leaf buds are preparing for spring. Squirrels don't care what the weather is and they'll search for food whenever the mood strikes them. Underneath the bark of trees, insects, and other creatures will spend most of their lives. If you can't see them, you are likely to find signs of their existence though. Speaking of signs, let's wait for the snow to fall, shall we? The night grows cold and the rain suddenly freezes and gracefully falls to the earth as snow. You hear it as it gently tumbles over and through the bare branches above to the cold, hard ground below. That is one of my favorite times to visit a woodlands. 
I know a lot of people associate snow with the winter months, but you actually often get more rain than you do snow. With luck, the snow continues to descend after the sun has risen. And I try my best to visit the winter woodlands when it does. Once the snow slows down, especially if it has stopped before sunrise, animal tracks can be found everywhere. This is a time that whether or not you see the animals responsible, you can easily see what they are up to. Deer, rabbits, foxes, and birds are very busy. You can even catch a mouse going about its foraging. I find it hard not to take the wee fellow home and give it a nice meal and warm blanket. It does not need that though. The snow brings plenty of warmth and is nature's answer to a warm quilt to keep them cozy while they feed and go about their micely ways. Streams, creeks, and other bodies of water are teeming with life. I aim to film a lot of that in future videos, but for now, just take my word that there is a lot of activity going on there. As I say this now, and as you watch this video, the woodland's mighty heart beats and the blood of life flows through her veins. The ground freezes and thaws like a breathing giant, aerating and irrigating the soil as it does so. The trees, plants do gather their strength in their energy-rich roots, rhizomes, and bulbs. The mosses develop their spores and await the dryness of summer to disperse them. Amphibians lay beneath the ground logs, and even the vernal pools, in anticipation of the breeding season where rains saturate the land as the nights warm up. Incredibly, that celebration is only but a month or so away. Some insects are active throughout the winter, and some lay dormant, while others spend the frosty months in eggs, slowly developing and waiting patiently for those warmer nights to come along where the snows have all melted and those flowers are beginning to bloom. Ants are deep on the ground and going about their busy lives. Bees are buzzing in their hives and using their little bodies to keep them warm throughout the entire winter. Snow fleas and springtails are active among the very snow that conceals them, having developed special ways to cope with those freezing temperatures. There is so much going on in the winter months that it was very hard for me to determine how to actually go about making this video. Instead of spending countless days and hours searching about the entire land for all those active creatures living and thriving, I found it a little bit easier to just touch base on just some of the goings on around us as the environment fools us into thinking the land has gone into a state of lifelessness. If you are interested in learning more, why not grab yourself a hot chocolate, magnifying lens, and perhaps a couple of field guides and hit your local park and have a great weekend filled with wildlife and nature observation. Remember, chance favors the prepared mind. I, however, am going to go out for a walk, bring my camera along and see if I could snap off a couple of photos of something cool. Until next time, thanks a lot for watching. And once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out. Thanks a lot for watching, and remember, if you like this video, be sure to check out this video over here that YouTube has selected specifically for you based on your watch time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, but you gotta click the bell icon, because if you don't, YouTube will never let you know when a new video of mine comes out. And remember, passion inspires spirit. Chris Ignato, signing out.